Incredible stuff. I want to finish this with a study that shocked researchers at the College of Staten Island in New York in 2010. Scientists recreated the environmental conditions of a naked mole rat burrow with lower oxygen and increased carbon dioxide in their laboratory and examined its effects on three different parameters of the naked mole rat, including activity levels, memory, and social interaction. Interestingly, the hypothesis of the researchers was that the environment would have a negative impact on the activity, memory, and social interaction. If you're looking at the screen now, you're actually seeing a photo of their setup. They've created a, a mole rat burrow, basically, out of PVC pipe taped together with duct tape and a series of tubes that introduce CO2 and monitor and regulate the air so it mimics the mole rat burrow. And that's figure two, which I'll read to you now. A maze was set up to measure memory the cage in the back is the colony communal feeding area, and the cage closest in this photo is the community toilet. The carbon dioxide tank maintains hypercapnic, which is excessive carbon dioxide, which we might have to redefine soon, and hypoxic, which is a lack of oxygen, which we also probably have to redefine. Ten readers to track movements were placed around the valves, and the photo was taken by Nicole Bofa. And the results of the study. When the rats were put into an environment of decreased oxygen, or hypoxic and increased carbon dioxide, hypercapnic, dot, 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 they became more social, they had significantly improved memory scores, and their overall movements increased by 76.8%. As you can see this graph on the screen, the blue line is normoxia, so a normal amount of oxygen. That's like your standard atmosphere that you're breathing right now, probably. And the red line is hypercapnic hypoxia. That's, that's with the decreased oxygen and increased CO2. And as you can see, the y-axis is the number of movements in the mole rats, and that just skyrocketed when they took down the oxygen and increased the, the CO2. Incredible. So the conclusion of the study was the following. And I quote, the results did not support the original hypothesis that activity, memory, and social interaction levels would decrease under hypercapnic hypoxia. Hey, it's Mark. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and definitely hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos when they come out. Also, be sure to pick up my three free ebooks, one on chemotherapy, the other on sodium bicarbonate for cancer and other diseases, and a red light therapy dose guide by clicking the link in the description below. Last but not least, check out one more video on my channel right here, and I will see you in the next one.